Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Habatifillah, a question was asked. Akhi, your advice really helps me. May Allah reward you. I'm a student of knowledge in Cairo and I'm having trouble with the Ashari Aqidah. Could you please advise me? Um, first and foremost, you know yourself, that's why you're having trouble with it, is that you should be in the gatherings of Ahl Sunnah. And what I mean by that is you shouldn't be, you should do avoid sitting in gatherings with Asharis. And if that's in, the, for example, if you're in your in institute or if you're in uh, Al-Azhar, in Al-Azhar, the main creed, I believe, that's propagated there is Ashari. However, there are Salafis, at least there were, and I'm sure there's some Salafis that teach in the university. So you definitely need to be uh, with those professors. And if not, make sure you're sitting in gatherings of Ahlul Sunnah, gatherings with Salafi scholars. And I'm not just saying just brothers that are on the Sunnah, that's beautiful. But however, sometimes brothers, if they're not geared to Talib al-Am, they're not going to busy you with khair and good. Maybe they'll busy you with just refuting and getting into matters you don't necessarily need to, to be involved in, but and take it away from your Talib al-Am. Benefit while you're there in Cairo. So I will say this, benefit while you're there. However, you know, as well as I do, and this is how many Athar of the Salaf, we could just go back to the countless books uh, of the Salaf and Athar on the Salaf, uh, which tell us about sitting with all those groups like the Jahmiya, the Ma'tazila, the Mu'attala of their various types, the Qadariya, the Khawarij, the Ashiris, all of these various groups and, and sex that you should be away from because it, it's going to affect you. It isn't that they're not Muslim. No, we're not saying that. It isn't that they're not your Muslim brother in, ex in, in, in t to the extent that they are adhering to the Sunnah. That's not what we're saying. But we are saying because of the deviance, especially in Aqidah and methodology, that that is going to cause you, when you befriend someone like that and you're very close to them, you will perhaps defend them in falsehood. And the atafa, the, the, the affection, is going to be there. That's natural. So how did the Salaf deal with it? The Salaf, they, that's why they cut themselves off from the various groups and sects. And that's why if you don't have the strength yourself, you definitely don't need to be in gatherings like that because it will influence you. Because especially in a place like Cairo, you're going to meet... They're scholars, people who have knowledge, who know the book of Allah and know the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or know much of it and know various science, but they are deviant in their aqidah, in their creed. And perhaps they mix it with philosophy and other uh, manahij, other understandings. They give taqdeem ala al-aqal ila naql You know, ala al-naql. They give precedence to their intellect and rationality and rationalism over and intellectualism over the nusus, over the text. So they'll explain it away. They'll make tahrif and ta'wil and ta'til of the ayats, uh, especially sifat, ayats about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes. So since you know that being the case, do whatever it takes to be away from those gatherings and gain the benefit in your language, in your Quran, in the fiqh. But as far as Aqidah, make sure that you go to some of the gatherings of some of the Salafi scholars outside of your institute, because I'm assuming you're in an institute or something. Then go make sure you're going to those some Salafi mashayikh and hitting them with questions and getting that iman booster of people who are calling to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Minhaj of the Salaf to keep your iman up and to keep those shubahat away from you, because it takes al-ilm huwa silah. Knowledge is the sword, and it cuts away those shubahat. And so you need to be in those gatherings of swords of the sunnah, not in gatherings of flowers of bid'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.